Welcome to the advisory, the first and last advice show on the internet, where this week we continued the twisty saga. And James, we went to the restaurant and we ate it. We ate it. That's a great start. We ate it. We ate the twisties fries, and that you will be able to find presumably somewhere if we don't cut it in here. Um, James, the twisty saga doth go on. What did you think? What was your vibe on the twisties dust atop the loaded fries? Wow, dude, what a what a weird way to sell this video. In What's up? the video in which I reveal yeah. a deep dark truth, my Pretty earnest black. and in honest um feelings i guess about the twisty yeah. fries and For you're sure. and you said you're gonna just go hey don't worry about the video don't worry about let's skip straight don't to the end it. james tell us how you feel about the fries pretty yeah. good we're, 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 james we're pretty here good. to make viewers good. not not make meaning i like, what did you think uh what did you, yeah what did sure. you think yeah i mean hey pretty good Pretty good. And also, I'll say top three chip related dustings on top okay. of other chips. Do you have other top? Do you have other not yet. dustings in mind? Not yet. But it's up there. It's on the list. <laughs> it's on the list. Yeah. Did, did it start the list? Well, I guess it has did. It, has it commenced the list? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It got that list ball rolling, I guess. Well, this feels like the next advisory uh, kind of integer that we shall follow, which is like, what's going on in the list of James's top three dustings of chips? Or does this become like uh, something we do now where we just sort of... Like a recurring segment. Yeah. yeah, like how bands go on tour, but this podcast will tour around the different sort of hotspots for chip dust coding offerings, and that'll be sort of the advisory tour. In the latter yeah, half of 2023, you... the advisory goes on tour. We're announcing, we're announcing it right now. We're announcing it. It's very chip dusting related. Coming we are to going on a tour. restaurant and or brewery and or restaurant brewery combo near you. For sure. Now, my concern with this, candidly, is that's, you know, you know, can we live stream that? Can we, like, what's the angle? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's the production One angle? angle one angle what's that endorso bucks baby dusty oh, endorso bucks yeah yeah big 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 seasoning big uh wait, james what's a the advisory brought Foods? to you by big chip mccain's big chip. well mccain's presents the advisory they make a lot of chips welcome the new title sponsor of the show <laughs> um so glad to have you uh, and hey, Marge, the rain's out. Um, something, something. McCain's that ad that everyone oh, yeah, remembers. The yeah, the rain on the roof or whatnot. Yeah. Um. Now, James, uh, in the spirit of us trying to make the show interesting from the start, which is the thing we've been trying to do instead of waffling on for like forty minutes about shapes, can I ask you some advice? Is that okay? Let's dive straight on in. Actually, before we do that, I've just violated my own rule. One really quick thing. So we we you'll. But you'll work it out. There'll be a video. But we did go and we did have the chips and we did we did think they were fine. Um, and I did describe them as the dust form of a cheese sauce because that is wow. candidly what they're doing. Okay, they are they are they are they are grabbing. That the is baton. the most cooked fucking way to describe anything. And how would you fucking dog, describe? And it? that is also the type of energy, you, all right? Because I look, I want us to be on the oh, same here page. We, here we go. I don't want to put off McCain's and other big chip offerings, here okay? Here we go. But we here can't describe to here potential patrons and potential customers, potential cha uh, taste chasers. The advisory hashtag the taste chasers. <laughs> we don't want to tell people, oh, the coding that goes on this. It's the dust version of cheese sauce. Why not? That sounds heinous. It gives me a gritty vibe about it. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. A that gross mouthfeel. You know. Oh, the truth hurts you. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah. So, the, all uh, the execs James. watching at McCain just know that I'm open to uh, taste chasing on solo adventures. 
I'm also open to uh, taste chasing with someone that you would like to provide. Uh, and, and you, the, the listener, the viewer, if you want to be a taste chaser with me, blackswansociety.mail at gmail.com. Let's wow. do it. Me and you, let's partner up. Let's team up. Hashtag the taste chasers 2023. We're going to do it. And for our execs, delete those emails. Uh, James, this one comes from outrageous start seven eight six nine on reddit.com. Just the just the place on the internet where you can go should you so desire. Mwah. Thank you so much for your you question. Probably, you probably shouldn't. Uh, James, would I be insane to bail on a wedding vacation to attend a Stanley Cup finals game? So I've been a long time fan of the Maple Leaves. Sounds like a real sports team, I can't tell. Uh, who are now in the playoffs and have the potential to move through the rounds. Me and my buddies have always made a pact about going to the Stanley Cup finals out of town to see them if they ever, if the day ever came. Not saying it's a lock, the Leaves will likely still blow it, but they're setting plans regardless. Nice. Problem is, I've committed to my fiance's friend's wedding in Greece this week Ugh. Uh, that the finals would be. Am I insane for actually considering cutting my Greek island vacation short and incurring insane costs slash pissing my fiance off to try and make a game? Now, James, on the show, we are famous sports ball fans. Oh, okay. We can't get enough we, of it. We can't get we enough. We love it when they run to the end zone. We love it when they kick at the touch of downer. We love it when the boys get rowdy. We yeah. love it when they do a goal. We love so this, we love sports betting, you know, we famously. Love to bet on sports. Yeah. The concept of betting, and we love the fact that it exists and is still legal. We love all of those things. And so I would ask you, you this, James, as a as a sports aficionado, as a betting aficionado, what is it? Should I now, you know, going to Greece, which is apparently, I wouldn't know, but apparently a very nice place. Re like a Greece wedding, are you kidding me? Sounds delightful. And this person, outrageous start, is asking, hey, should I join my fiance in celebrating her friend's eternal union with her partner in Greece, a place which is apparently paradise? Or should I go and yell at sports ball with the boys? The boys. The boys every day of the week. The, first of all, we need to address yeah. the fact that this is the most first world problem on it's the fucking planet. Oh, yeah. guys. Oh, <laughs> Shall guys, I? Gather, gather around. Gregory, gather Jeffrey. Around, and, Jeffrey, Gregory, Blake. We all love the Maple Leafs. We've made plenty of pact about seeing them live now. Yes, yes, we have. I'm wondering, should I travel to fucking Greece? Yes. Or go to a Stanley Cup match? Both very expensive, you, both very you lavish. Sir, you, sir, could afford to do both. That is true, but I can't afford to be in two places at once. Or no, I understand. can I? You can't. I think... Could we clone you? We've, we've Make got, another of we've you. We've got the cash. Send... We've got the cash. I mean, technically, you made this pack yeah. for the mm -hmm. for the cup long yeah. before there was any oh, mention of some Janet, some well, wedding on the oh. fucking cards. Oh, mate, I made that pack when I was eighteen, and as we all know, eighteen year olds famously good for their decision making. Well, so. I'm just saying, based on the timeline of these two events, yeah. and when the planning of them was initiated. The hockey yeah. game takes precedent every day of the week. Okay, you think? Yeah. And so look, I don't, mind, I don't really look. I don't really have too strong of a case for something like this. Sounds like you know what I mean. Case. I don't. I really don't. Yeah, but the words you're set. What what's happened to it? Oh, is this a PowerPoint presentation? David, welcome to my PowerPoint presentation titled "The Stanley Cup Finals: Friendships Are Vital." <sighs> For fuck's sake, let me make my screens bigger. All right, yeah, I can see it now. Now, look. Friendships are vital? Friendships are vital. I don't know if, you, I don't know you, if you're aware of that. Did you make an entire scene just for this in OBS? Let's not, let's not 
pull two back on the thread to reveal how the sausage so the is made. So the holiday's going well, then. Okay. You're really hanging in there. Yeah, come David, on. I'm just saying that off the cuff, <laughs> I would just say that Okay. these are sort of my, again, sort of just off the top of the dome ideas for why going to the Stanley Cup Finals game is better than going to Greece. Okay? Yep. Hit me with them. Now, those boys look startled, is what I would say. They look they're kind watching, of startled by the, what's happening. Yeah, they're, because their favorite sports ball team, um, their least favorite sports ball team just scored a touchdown home run. And they're upset oh, they're so because wrapped, it wasn't their they, uh, team that did it. Right. They're wrapped in the experience. I get it. David, going to the Stanley Cup finals, it's an unforgettable experience. Okay. Okay. Watching yep. your favorite team compete in the Stanley Cup finals with your closest friends sort of once in a lifetime experience that you'll never forget that's not untrue from my understanding of sports ball and also if you are a audio listener of this podcast you're really not getting the full effect of what's happening you right have now to, you are missing you the go, powerpoint presentation you have to go watch the powerpoint presentation in the video format youtube.com slash at black swan society twitch.tv slash black swan you Sometimes, David, please, in life. David. Okay, um, I'm going to hold Sorry. all questions to the end of my presentation. Um, I do sort of have, I do have a timeline here, uh, yeah. and there are minutes that I need to keep to. Yeah, Jake's nodding me at, oh, me um, at the back there to do the minutes. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to intrude. I just thought it was a collaborative. You thought? Sorry. You thought? What's I'm up? so sorry, everyone else in the room. I'm so sorry about this, guys. That. David's wasting our time, chosen to waste our time today. Um, you thought that the fully published and ready to go presentation was a yeah. that that is already done, might I add, that is yeah. on the screen in front of you, is a collaborative, yeah. is currently in its current form, a collaborative effort. Yeah, well, I'm one half of the show, so I sort of assumed Right. Thank you. That I and thank you so much. We'll take that on notice. Thank you. Who's we? David, going to the Stanley Cup, it's priceless memories, okay? You'll create memories that you and your friends will cherish forever. Okay. You know, from the excitement of the game to the camaraderie of being with your friends. Again, it's a trip you'll never forget. Look at these guys having a wonderful time. But they look so happy. Oh, look at how carefree they are. And David, we all know sports. It's a chance to bond, you know? Yep. Traveling with yeah, friends yeah, yeah. to a big event is a great way to strengthen bonds and create new memories together. Okay. And also, fundamentally, it's about supporting your team. Okay? We're, we're diehard Maples fans. Go oh, Leaves. We... Go Leaves. Okay? Go... Sorry. I mean, I, sorry. What I meant to say is go Leaves. I, I missed Thank you. Yes, you did. Yeah. Now, now as, a, James... as a dedicated fan, attending the Stanley Cup Finals game is your chance to show that support for your team and be mm -hmm. part of that excitement it's gonna be sure. pretty crazy excitement happening in that ring that day wouldn't you agree david i i couldn't disagree less okay uh any question uh, any questions so far guys any questions for me yeah what is the stanley cup the stanley cup that's my big question so far uh that's the that's that's the hockey one it's the big hockey the, game it sounds like the football one are you sure positive how sure are you 92 percent. okay that's more sure than i am uh no questions then perfect thank you so much yeah no thank no thank you james yeah now david why is going to the wedding in greece not as good what i would love you to tell me thank you why i do you think thank, going thank you, to I the will. wedding oh what do, why that, do i think i think personally why do you think going to the Grease wedding is less good. I think the Grease wedding will be pretty expensive. Okay. As you can see, I've got I've on there. Paid, I've, I, well, I've already paid for it. For sure. I've already got on there. It's uh, uh, Echo Chryso because we're in the, currently in the midst of an economic crisis. So. Fuck you. Oh, sure. Echo yeah. Chryso. So you've shorthanded the global economic crisis to Echo Keeping it Chryso? fun. You know, keeping it fun. So Keeping it light. Okay. Now, the cost of traveling to Greece and attending the wedding can be prohibitive, you know, especially sure. if you have to pay for airfare, lodging, other expenses. Oh, it I've just gets it. so burdensome. 
I've already paid for it's it. It's also pretty time consuming. You know, traveling to Greece okay. and attending the wedding will take up a significant amount of time, which may interfere with other obligations or activities. Mm, certain Stanley Cup matches, perhaps. Okay. It's also yep. less exciting. You know, go, oh, Greece. Greece is going to be there at the end of the day, mate. You know, and we've all seen a wedding before, you know. And while a wedding may be a special event, it may not be as exciting or memorable as attending a Stanley Cup finals with your friends. So, and that's hard yeah. to argue, you know. It's a difficult point to disagree with, for sure. And it's potentially very stressful. And again, oh, see, see back yeah. to point one there, currently yeah. in the midst of the Echo Chryso, and we really don't want to add any more stress onto that. And weddings can be stressful, especially if you don't know how many people attending or... If you know, their family tensions, you know, these things all right. start to My unravel. My fiance did invite me, so I will know her and her friend that's getting married. For sure. But sorry, we're, on, we're helping him answer this question. And you helping now sound her. like you're, you flipped it back on him. And you're trying to give him reasons why he should go to Greece. And that's not no, what I'm we're trying doing to, I'm sorry. I'm trying to understand. Yeah. To answer his question, which is, am I insane? In considering cutting my Greek island vacation short to make this game. I'm on his side. If I anything, mean, you've picked the side. Okay. Obviously, he's not crazy. For the aforementioned, all of the aforementioned reasons in this presentation. Okay. And again, yeah. thank you so much for your time, everyone. Um, yeah. Obviously, sure. they're Stanley Cup, greater than it's Greece greater wedding. Than, yeah. Go Leafs. That's, ma that's mathematics. Go right Leafs. Now. That's like that's like irrefutable mathematic proof, James. Yeah. So you what you've done here is what you've done is you've solved an unsolvable equation. You've done what you've done what scientists for gener physicists for generations. They are wa walking around, they say, dark matter, this, that, and the fifth thing. What you've done here is you've mathematically proven that going to see the sports ball is better they going to the wedding with your fiance and ladies and gentlemen if it does please the court i think that we can all agree having seen okay. the presentation yeah that you can't prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that going to the grease wedding mm -hmm. is either good for me nor yep. better than me going to the Santa cup with my boys Hashtag go Leafs. Sorry, is 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 that our heuristic? Like that it's sorry, is is our heuristic <laughs> that our advice needs to be beyond a shadow of a doubt? Is that our new thing? Because that could be legally restrictive. Or hey, all I'm saying is for all of the I would say yes. Yes. Okay, they give they're giving us a face. You can see it in the booth. They're making a face. If I don't know what that face means. All we need to do is we don't need to give we don't need to give airtight ironclad advice, okay? All we need to do is prove that the other end of the equation couldn't prove their case beyond a shadow of a doubt. Therefore, uh, you don't need to be right. They just need to be wrong. Does that hold up? No, no, nodding. no, We don't need they to be right. Wrong? We just need them not to be entirely you right. You just need them to be not entirely incorrect. Yes. Yeah. That's kind of 40 chess, Jay. I'll be honest. I thought you were a fucking idiot. But what you've done tonight is demonstrated the opposite. Did that's you like, see? And did you see my great clever. presentation skills? What presentation? It's great. Which one? Well, maybe you could. Uh, I obviously don't need to work on my presentation skills because, again, crushed it. But maybe you could work on your paying attention skills because then you to would what? notice the great presentation. And then, you know, we'd be back on the same wavelength and I wouldn't be looking for another taste chaser. Uh, my I'm partner, choose not taste to do chaser that. for 2023. I'm yeah. I choose not to do that. So, um, so I mean, obviously, we'll, we'll send him the link to the presentation. You can, you, you can do one Gen of two, two. things. You can either um, perform the presentation to your uh, partner yourself, or you can play her this clip. Um, we'll act as David will act as your legal representative. I'm just creative. I'm just the creative putting together the slides and stuff. Um, and yeah, take it from there. What are we talking about? I've lost track of what's happened. Oh, we uh, uh, solving. 
problems. Advice. We do advice James, on the advice podcast. Is what we're doing. Uh, which what are we doing right now? Which podcast are we on? Emma nineteen eighty eight asks if you could choose any celebrity to see get tickled. Who would you say? Thank you so much for that question. Yeah, I, already, I already did fully answer that. It's Matthew Bauer. Matthew um, Bauer probably. I what the wanna, fuck? I just want to see what happens. I think. Matthew it's, Bauer. It's going to be a violent outburst, I think, and I'm I'm into that. Um, I so. guess my first question is, who is Matthew Bauer? <laughs> you know, that's actually quite rude of you to ask. Um, I think. Okay. What what should I know Matthew Bauer from? Uh James Bond, probably. Uh, that's Daniel Craig. Oh no, he isn't. Sorry, I should clarify. He isn't playing James Bond. Okay. Felt like you were is that not? If I would, if I could choose any celebrity that I'd want to see get tickled, yeah. Um, my okay, I'm gonna level with you. My immediate gut reaction was to go with a celebrity that would be that would have sort of like a fun and jovial laugh, so that that way we could all sort of uh, engage in that fun jovial laugh together. But now I, and this might be kind of sick. I kind of want to go with someone who like is a bit uptight and maybe needs a laugh. You know? Oh, you want to help them out? Um, you know who's... who could use a laugh? I think. Now, I was hoping that I would think of his name. I'm looking at his face. Um, he, Mark Wahlberg, I think needs a good giggle. He seems too serious. Right. I was Mark, thinking of Mark. Mark, 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 yeah, Mark Wahlberg has a pretty. Um, pretty grody background if you uh happen to delve into any of that so maybe give marky mark a bit of a fucking dodge <laughs> i reckon marky mark could use a good tickle i think now i put in uptight actors and the first one that it gave me in the image results was owen wilson oh um so i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna go with owen wilson he seems pretty fun loving Yeah, oh yeah, Owen, lock it in. Lock it in, Eddie. I'm gonna go with Owen Wilson on that one. Can I change my answer? Oh we'll allow it, but just this once. Don't tell anyone it's, that we let you change it. Because then everyone's gonna want to change. No, it's 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 still Marky Mark. I was just checking. Change it. Okay. Well, well you've locked in Matthew business. Bauer and now you're not allowed so. to change it. So Fuck. Uh shit. James, our birthdays are coming up pretty quickly. <laughs> They are. Can't stop them. We can't. We keep trying and we keep aging and we keep looking better with every year. Now, one thing that's going to happen over the next kind of few weeks is we're just going to indulge in our greatest sort of our most pure desires. It's birthday month for the boys. Oh, James, what are you looking forward to the most about birthday month for the boys? A hedonistic month. Um, oh, it's gonna! I listen. It's gonna be. We, we're gonna. We're gonna violate so many of the Ten Commandments. You're not gonna believe it. We're gonna piss on God up the wall. You're not gonna believe how much we piss on God. We're gonna shit on His face, and it's gonna be bleep that. It's gonna be great. Bleep that in the edit. We top and tail these. We don't. Away. We don't edit. We don't edit these. We I top and tail. Away. I'm gonna. You should probably bleep that. I don't feel comfortable. Because you said with shit that. on God's face. <laughs> Because you said shit on yeah, God's it, face? It, it felt like I took the bit too far. Yeah. Um, but what are you most... I don't... Listen, David, I think if you David, God, let's not get fine, bogged down in the real, weeds, okay? So. You can't shit on something that doesn't exist. Now. That's true. What am I going to... What am I most looking forward to, to indulge in on my birthday? About? It's always like... Your birthday is like the best food. You know what I mean? So it's... Yeah, okay. Well, that being said, again, this is very self-indulgent. I don't know why we're talking about what this. What is it? Yeah, that, that's but, it's birthday month, James. It's the one time of year we can be self-indulgent. Okay. Um, Hit me with it. See, What's, normally, what are you uh, for my for? birthday, I love going to... My favorite restaurant is what well, used to be Peasant. They closed. Turns out someone wasn't paying the rent. So anyway, my other favorite restaurant is Smoke Barbecue. Okay? So that's okay. what I love to have at birthday time but my birthday's my birthday's on a monday this year 
Um, and restaurants notoriously not open on Mondays. Yeah. So what we are doing is we're going to Gold Class to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Oh, so that's gonna be good. Every it's gonna be yum. Says it's gonna be yum. It's gonna be fun. That's my two prerequisites for a great night out: yum and fun. Very excited. Very excited. Apparently, it's brilliant. That's what I hear. What are you so, what are you indulging in for your birthday month? Me? I'm going to well, I'm glad you asked, James. Uh I'm going to do what I always do. I'm gonna buy a bottle of very expensive McAllen whiskey. Mm-hmm. Uh and I'm going to cook myself. I'm gonna go to the butcher and buy a very expensive steak. Okay. I'm gonna go to the markets and buy some pretty expensive potatoes uh and i'm gonna make myself <laughs> that's the weirdest thing ever yes garçon get out of the way everyone i'm here to spend big buckery does get me your most expensive potatoes please it's oh we've got that. like kit no, no, and we've no, got no, like uh, russet that's about it which ones do you want ah oh, fuck um Oh, I really didn't think that. what pair, what pairs best with like a steak and some whiskey. Oh, I'll probably go to Kipfler, I reckon. All right, oh, I'll I, take um... I'll take a single man's serving size of Kipfler potatoes, please. I I text him like a month in advance. This was a few weeks ago, and I'm like, hey, a potato what... guy. You texted a potato guy. I have a guy for everything. Okay. Dog. And I texted my potato guy. Okay. And I said, this is what I need. And I texted my butcher and I said, this is what I'm after. And I'm going to sit down in my fucking apartment that I'm on the way to paying off to own. And I'm going to have a glass of Macallan, a very expensive piece of steak. And I'm going to confit some potatoes and some duck fat with some broccolini. And I'm going to have that as my meal on my fucking birthday. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and that's what I do every year, and it's becoming a level of ritual to the point where I can't tell if I'm doing it anymore because I enjoy it or because I just started doing it. Um, and I don't know what that means about me or mm. who I am or what I stand for. Yeah, because I really hate capitalism and the idea of money, but it's oh, one no. of those things where it's where it's spiraling. Like, well, I, I help. I well, you don't fucking throw I me can, a fucking life raft. I can help. You, I can help. You piece of shit. I bought this for my birthday. What'd you buy? Vertical mouse. Help my what shitty. Help my shitty wrist. It's like uh, you grab your mouse, your normal mouse, and then you turn it slightly sideways. Yes, like that. Yeah. Is that what does that mean? Just sort of helps. Um, if you work on a computer a lot, it helps for sure. Help sort of like make your wrist not hurt. Not hurt. Yeah. Uh, should we move on as quickly as possible to the feature question? Sure, we should. And and let's try not to think about the fact that you just said you have a potato guy, right? We'll try not to think about that. I can't not irony. think about it, but we will try to. He's more of a vegetable guy. He happens to do. It doesn't matter. He, does he important. own? Does he own pigs? I don't think so. Oh, that's fine. I think, he's, I think he's a middleman. Oh, that's okay. Apparently, what pig, was your concern there? Well, pig Sorry. Far, apparently, pig farmers you got to be worried about. What? Feeding bodies to them and stuff. Did you ever see... Um, You ever see that uh, not lock stock? What's the other one? The other one? <laughs> you can't... Uh, what's the, you got um, it. what's the other guy, Richie one? Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it is though. Snatch. Top of my head. Snatch. Right. Yeah. The farm, pig farmer. For sure. Yeah. Feed the, yeah, pig yeah, farmer, yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, shout out guy, Richie. No free rides though. We'll take that check on your way out. Yeah. Uh, get out, James. get out of here, guy, Richie. This episode brought to you by McCain's. Oh, well not, we, we're not technically, we just want to be, we're not sponsored. We want to be though. So, oh, you weren't. Fun. Yeah, no, no, I don't no, get invited to any meetings. Are we sponsored by them? 
Well, since you sucked me out of the company, we, I, don't really know what's going on. I don't really want to get into it, but okay, that's fine. We'll have a meeting. Off you here. can't see on this funny, uh, but it has uh, f- football jersey style. It has the word McCain's written on the back. So that sort the of back. yeah, that sort of says. So anything. Sam is just staring at the big kind of announcement that you've sold us out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not. I mean, it's very lucrative. Very lucrative deal. What is? It's well. Let's not get bogged down the weeds. Should we do okay. some uh, advice? Do you think? Oh, now here's my issue, James. Does that kind of cohere with our show? Um. Yeah. It's sort of Does like a foundational sort of like pillar of the right. the show called the advisory guess, doing advice. Yeah. yeah. The reason I ask is so often we don't. Do the advice? Most episodes we don't. In this yeah, case, we, we, we are we do. We are and we do. And we're crushing it, okay. by the way. Well, do you want me to read it? I'm pretty excited about it. Okay. Well, James, this feature question, would you have so which again, you've taken what I didn't, one upped it. You've plus one did, as they say in the industry. My daughter's code embarrasses me, James. I'm a 36 year old male and a web developer for many years and have a lot of experience. About a year ago, my nine-year-old daughter suddenly def- <clears throat> suddenly decided she wanted to learn coding. Oh. She asked me to help teach her. I declined and explained that it's complex and I don't have time and would burn out from doing that after work as it's tough. Jesus. Yikes, Dad. But that she was free to learn on her own. The dog. Dad? <laughs> Dad, I, uh, I really admire what you do for a living could you teach me oh honey i simply couldn't i'd burn out from my coding isn't that hard it's like a language what are you fucking talking this is ridiculous. where does that end for him Already. though does it does that also do apply to like homework oh dad we're making us do division this week and i don't i'm not really wrapping my head around it what's 12 divided by three? Ah, oh, i think about numbers all day <laughs> Crazy. Don't it's, burn it's me out on lunatic. digits. Don't get my digis burned out. Uh, okay. We have a whitelist of sites she can access on her laptop, so we're not afraid of her searching the web. She taught herself some C++, which is not a language I've used in years because it's a thousand years old and not the simplest to pick up. It's been a year and she calls herself Princess Programmer. Hell yeah. And it's a little... It's at that's a you know what t shirt, t shirt, and it's a little cringy. And she likes to wear a nice dress or skirt while working on some simple what games. What the fuck she makes this judgmental dick, dad? It's you have so, such a judgmental dick. She's she's sitting there and she's like, Dad, I want to be like you. And she's doing it. And she's dad's a professional. He wears like, like, she's she's the perfect daughter. She's like, I idolize you. I want to be like you. She's teaching herself. And he's like, um, uh, um snobby much. Okay. You, okay. Code, cringy nerd. That's what he's doing. Sorry. Hashtag cringe alert on my fucking daughter. Are you kidding? Uh, James, recently she overheard one of my work meetings and learned what code reviews are <laughs> and asked me to do one on her newest game uh, while claiming that Princess Programmer wrote it very well and expects it expects it to be very good now just to be clear she is nine years old yeah this is like dad crazy crazy like um initiative and you know super smart to be just be like hey i want to teach myself coding and then is and then is making a game at nine writing video games oh my god that's more than i can do now and i i'm a software engineer i'm not a good one but like I don't even know what I was doing at nine. It definitely wasn't anything cool like this. Nothing like that. Like, and so he says, I noticed many issues like bad variable naming conventions, code duplication, mm-hmm. and if condition return instead of just returning the condition. I told her the quality sucked compared to anything that could be production code and that it would be easier to rewrite than fix it. I told her that if she wanted to learn more, she could rewrite it with my advice and that programming is serious and not a game. 
then she should stop with the outfits and princess programmer stuff and maybe try to learn an easier language than C++. Shockingly, Jesus she Christ. cried and threw a tantrum and is upset with me and said I was too mean. And big plot twist, James. My wife is also upset with me and says I should have lied and said her work was good and told her how to make it better. My wife did do coding in college, but she does... Jesus fucking... My wife did do coding in college, but she doesn't do much of it in her job these days. Am I the asshole here? In th- Sorry, I'm just going to count us down, James. Okay, you ready? Am I the asshole here? In... I'm gonna I'm gonna do three, two, one, and then we'll say it. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah big. T- this is like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is brutal. Like, this. You're. You're. I. I. I'm losing my mind. Your daughter looks at you and she says, "I love what Dad does. I idolize him." And she's trying to. She's nine years old, and you're like. <laughs> Why are you still writing in C++ uh, even though our parental blockers on your laptop only let you find sites that you had to write C++? And honestly, if I was also writing C++, which I simply wouldn't because it's outdated, I would simply do it. What are you fucking talking about? Like, 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 what this are you... This is wild. This is, this is like... It's weird because, like, next level. the fact that you're like, someone, someone comes to you and says, hey, will you teach me this thing? You go, no, don't have time for it. And then they go, hey, learn learn what this other thing is where people take a look at your work and review it. Can you do mm-hmm. that? And then he comes in and eviscerates it. It's like, yeah, obviously, I don't know how to, like, do it properly because... Because you didn't teach me. Because you didn't teach me and no one's teaching me how to do it. So, like, let's make this a learning opportunity and you explain it to me and then I can learn instead of you being like, ah, oh, this needs a whole tear down and rebuild. It's like, let's just, let's just not be a dick. What if you want the worst? That's my advice. What if you sucked less? What if? You know? Crazy what suggestion. If you challenged her to a code off. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Yep. A very, code battle. Yeah. Very like um, Anakin and the other guy's style. You know, you were supposed to be the chosen what? one type five. Oh, sure. You know, you went stuff. I mean, yeah. like, that's very, like, Zuckerberg to be like, look, these two coders fight to the death. You know? Oh, yeah, okay. What, are they, what did they yeah, call that? There was the little little hacker... 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 Hackathon. hackathon. That's it, yeah. Yeah, it's the one, yeah. Yeah, and then, um, but she... Because, look, we, we always fall victim to giving advice to the person who's not asking the advice. But you, you let me let me just rephrase what you're saying is we always give advice to the victim in the scenario. Yeah, it's never it's very rarely <laughs> that's not a bad very thing. Very rarely think. the victim that comes to the internet and says, Hey, was I chill here? Is this cool? Um, that's usually perpetrator energy, but it's always, always the perpetrator. So uh maybe we, you know, our idea here is for the daughter, challenge dad to a code off because it sounds like he's a real fucking egomaniac dipshit piece of shit cunt right so Mm -hmm. this is i'm talking about tricking dad into like teaching me how to do stuff you're gonna do a big trick yeah you come in and you're like you go you know what dad you said you haven't done c plus plus in a long time how about me and you go toe to toe grandpa and then you start duking it out and then you're really just like peeking over his shoulder being like how's he doing it you know and you're learning off of like him doing it and then you think so you're stealing yeah knowledge okay i'm with i'm with it knowledge no I, I, that wasn't judgment i'm just i'm with it yeah yeah could you could you no i don't know how well your dad knows you because he seems like a piece of shit could you hire an actor to impersonate you in the code off and just really <laughs> blaze him you hell know yeah we need a yeah, very specific you. very specific height Actor, yeah, to come in and out code your dad, just embarrass embarrass him. Like, like I'm talking about, like he's also a festival who writes in C plus plus. But you know, he's like, oh, you know, this and the fifth thing, and she's like, this, that, and the twenty fifth thing. 
she's she's outclassing him to a level that you can't even understand. But I think that you know we can get it. We can buy wigs. We can. There, there is going to be a lead time to this solution. It's going to be training sessions where she learns your, you know, the actor learns your mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. There's going to be sort of Rocky style montages of her on the laptop. Oh, you know, okay. Yep. Yeah. I like that. It's, it's going to, it's going to be a whole production. And by the time it occurs and she absolutely puts your dad in the sin bin for being such a piece of shit, mm -hmm. you get to sort of step out from the shadows and have your gotcha moment. Yeah, we say have them sort of backflip, about... you know, out do sort of like backward, uh, sort of like somersaults out the door, and that's where you do your little switch over, and then you come walking back in, you know. But Sorry, it was am the I actor. hiring a an actor who can do backflips? You've that's a level of well, they got to have some fancy attention grabbing exit so that when I walk back in, people think like, oh wow, like we were all paying attention, and that's. That's obviously the person that just left the room. Yeah. Okay. Now you're and you're so you're committed to backflips. No, my end game is is uh, attention grabbing exit. So that could be. Could we? Could we buy them smoke bombs? Okay, that, that's good. Can you yeah. buy those? Uh, yeah, you're sort of. Yeah, that's starting to fall into like magic trick territory, and I really. That's okay, a I'm sorry. Dangerous line. Right. I really want to skirt yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm listen, I'm not what if I'm, I'm, what if I'm holding Roman candles and and uh fireworks are being shot out and I'm holding them in either hand, but I'm just doing a simple somersault out. Sorry, the, that's less a roly poly. That's, that's that's more desirable than the smoke bomb. You want a roly poly with fireworks going off everywhere? Yes, because we're trying to draw the attention to the exit. You're trying to do smoke and mirrors, you know, throw a smoke bomb in front of them, and then all of a sudden, Dad gets tapped on the shoulder. Aha! It is me! Magic trick! I'm sorry. We're not doing explain... magic tricks here. Sorry. Sorry. Explain your rationale for them wanting to pay attention to the exit. So that... Yeah. Okay. You see, you yep. see the person rat a tat tat out the code, right? Submit. Yep. We beat Dad. Okay, in in the hackathon, yep. everyone yep. is cheering, but everyone can only see the back of the daughter. In inverted commas, the daughter, right? Uh -huh. So she submits, yep. and it comes up to ding. You know, on a big, I'm assuming like, uh, like uh, either like projection or LED screen, and it comes up like, you know, princess, princess Coda wins, and everyone's like, yeah, everyone stands up in the grandstand, and they're like, yeah, and then she does. Uh -huh. And then she wants, because everyone's like, oh, let's get an interview with her, get an interview with her. So as people are trying to get to her, she's like covering her face. And then she has to do a big, grandiose exit. So everyone's watching and being like, oh, the little princess hacker lady just on the exit. And now she comes walking back in. And it's the real one this time, you know? It I think it's one we're of those things where... We're trying to sell it. Where... It's theater because yeah, we're trying the... to sell it. No, no, no. Yeah. The, the more you explained it, the more convoluted it felt. And that's maybe on me. Yeah. Because maybe maybe without the explanation, it makes sense. It makes perfect what sense. You just said, what you just said is fucking insane. Look, if she, so... if she does the hack, she hits submit, the thing, she wins, okay? And then she just casually walks off and then and then just walks back out. You're gonna Pe fight what you people can be like, oh classic fucking body double dupe. Who's gonna be asking that? Everyone. If you if 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 you add fireworks, that's their first question. I feel like you're you're overcompensating. I no, feel because now it adds to the narrative, okay? Yeah, it adds lying, it adds to this character because fucking hell. she's nine years old, she's so advanced beyond her years when it comes to code. Why wouldn't she also be an acrobatic style, you know, savant, an acrobatic savant sure. as well. You know, it's just another <laughs> feather in her, a... in her cap of abilities. <laughs> Why wouldn't she do a big flip? You know? Okay. Well, what if, what if, and this one is, look, that one, that's all the bells and whistles. Okay. That's very bells and that's whistles. That's the yeah. big, the fucking, the for 90 sure. minute sure. fucking you know, story, it's whatever. An it's an extravaganza. Exactly. Here's the, yeah. that's that's the big silver screen 90 minute feature. Let me give you the fucking sure. nine minute webisode, okay? I'm ready. 
Yeah, go on. Challenge Dad to the hackathon. Mm-hmm. I Dennis the Menace style, maybe shoot some sleeping pills with a um, slingshot into his nightly bourbon, knocks him mm-hmm. out, um, and the hackathon is the next day at 9 a.m. He doesn't wake up until 11 a.m. Hackathon finishes at 11.30 it's 20 minutes oh, away okay. and he, he's like yeah. oh i'm fuck i'm gonna miss the hackathon he wakes up late and then he has to like frantically put on his clothes he gets in the car driving and he gets there and it's like princess thing oh wins he's she won by default because he wasn't even there you know because she right. got to spend all the time she wanted working on her code bing she entered she hits enter wins okay. boom you know i'm not against preventing him from going to the hackathon could we break okay. his legs maybe really prevent okay him? well i just could we break something else no, no okay this is a this is this is a story about redemption this is a redemption arc story Jeez. and if we if we okay. fall down to dad's level and we start dad dad the, the very essence of dad is preventing you know, preventing you from learning, preventing okay. us from spending time together, preventing the code review, preventing the the learning of the code and the teaching, the fun sure. moments, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. And now when dad gets there and he's lost, he sees the error in his ways, you know? Oh, what have I been doing all this time? I should look how, look at, all, look at you know, and it, the shot's on him and he sort of turns and looks at the stadium, the assembled throng of people all cheering mm-hmm. and chanting for his daughter and he thinks to himself i should be cheering and chanting for my daughter i oh, should wow. have been fan yeah. number one but i wasn't i James, missed that opportunity powerful. that's powerful yeah that's powerful i think what you've identified is he should he should yeah i i think <laughs> i think what you identified is uh he might be the issue here and I think mm. yes, if if he just if he just she's nine, she's running games, she's running C plus plus. I could barely write a fucking. Se- I still can't write a sentence. She's out here writing video games in C plus plus. You kidding Crazy. me? Crazy. Crazy. He should be standing by his daughter. And so saying, we had and so we had the that that was we had the ninety minute feature. We had the nine yes. minute webisode. Now yes. let me give you the fucking two minute web comic version okay oh we have a truncated version all right yeah, yeah go on. she spends her dad loves playing Fortnite in his off time she's oh, she gosh. spends her time learning how to make Fortnite hacks in c plus oh. plus and she also makes a bot that makes her auto join his lobbies and she fucking dusts him every time he tries every to. Every time. When, it, when dad clocks off work, oh, you don't, fucking don't want to spend time with me, dad, huh? Because you're afraid you're going to get burnt out? I'm going to burn you out in your games, bitch. And then oh, she starts damn. fucking get, getting into all of his lobbies and she fucking hacks yeah. him to death every single time. But That's got to be and now, demoralizing. And yeah. now dad, he's getting so frustrated with the game. He doesn't even want to play anymore. Now he's got all this free time at night to teach me how to code. Boom. So that's actually like 40 chess level shit. Cause like, if he doesn't want to do his own thing, cause he's getting nuked all the time. Yep. That's, I think James, listen, I assume one can write a bot that does that. All right. I'm not a big time computer science guy. If that can be done through C++, which I'm pretty sure it can't, but let's pretend that it can. If that's possible and your dad, oh, all my downtime, I'd love to just play Fortnite. I'd love to be, I love to be Shrek shooting guys. And my favorite thing is to be Shrek shooting guys in Fortnite. And every time he's Shrek shooting guys in Fortnite, he gets laser beamed in the head mm-hmm. by KK Muffin 27XX323. And he can't even play Fortnite. What does What's she make? Do? She makes her in game name Princess Programmer. Uh, well, that's, isn't that giving the game away? Because we still want him to help us. I you think like that's gonna, gonna okay? What about um Queen Code? Yeah, go on. You got Princess Programmer, and then my alter ego is Queen Code. Code that's Queen. Fine. I just I think the second you make it identifiable, he's gonna because you, you want it to feel organic. You want it to feel like it could be anyone. 
Well, you, yeah. so I'm picturing sort of like, you know, weeks down the track, right? Once they've, they've like, you know, rekindled their bonds, you know, that he's teaching how sure. to code. There's, we have this wonderful sort of like montage of like, you know, f- scenes fading over the top of each other of like them, like laughing together and coding on a computer, him like scribbling out how to structure a database or whatever. And they're like having the best time or whatever. And then one night he's tucking her into bed. She's fell asleep on the couch. She picks her up off the couch. He walks her upstairs into her bedroom and he lays her down in her bed. He's tucking her in. And then he looks over at the, cause there's, there's a, there's a television on in her bedroom, her, her yeah. game consoles on. And he looks over and he looks on the screen and there's the Fortnite menu. Code queen, code queen, Damn. right there on the top. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And then he realizes maybe I was the problem the whole time. Yeah. Or he kills if her because the, the movie could change there. I don't know. We it could be a horror, it could be a slasher film. We don't know. Exactly. What are we the fucking writer? I don't think so. Damn, James. You yeah, sometimes we paint ourselves a portrait of reality and we're not ready to look at it. We you know, we 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 paint such truths and we glance upon it and flinch. And I feel like that's one of those scenarios, you know? Yeah. Hashtag yeah. truth flinching. That's right. Is that a is that a hashtag? Is that right? Doing that. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh James, you should join this assessment. Not you. You're already you're let me rephrase. <laughs> Let me rephrase. Uh, you could join the society at youtube.com slash at Black Swan Society. Find our VODs there. You can watch all of our VODs, youtube.com slash at Black Swan Society. Or if you want to follow us on social media, you can search up Black Swan Society on TikTok or Instagram. You can find us at BLK Swan Society. That's at BLK Swan Society. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Send us a DM. Ask some advice. Otherwise, if you want to be part of the conversation, like Emma nine one nine nine eight eight was, you can find our show, The Advisory, live twitch.tv slash Black Swan Society, 6 p.m. AEST every Thursday night. That is twitch.tv slash Black Swan Society, uh, Thursdays, 6 p.m. AEST. We appreciate the heck out of it. And everyone joining the society and being part of it. If you want to send us an email, blackswansociety.mail at gmail.com. That is blackswansociety.mail at gmail.com. Send us an email, ask some advice, send us some feedback, but only if it's positive. We appreciate the heck out of all of your engagement, your reviews, your ratings, and your likes. We love to see it. It helps more people find the show, and helping more people find the show helps us keep doing this and spending more time doing it. If you're listening on your podcast catcher of choice, please consider giving us a rating or a review, five stars only, or whatever the equivalent is where you find us. And if you leave us a five star rating or review on your podcast catcher of choice and specify a voice you'd like it to be done in, I will do my best to do that. Though, asterisk, I'm bad at doing voices. So it's an opportunity to embarrass me. We appreciate the heck out of all of your five star ratings or reviews. Catch us next week. Twitch.tv slash Black Swan Society, Thursday, 6 p.m. AST. To do this again, we appreciate it. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, James, tell them, give them something to go out on. Give them something pithy, give them something fun. What do you got? Well, uh, I'll quickly say that if you're an artist or a creator of things, uh, we'd love to know what you're working on. You know, we'd love to see it. We'd love love to hear about it, whatever it is. Uh, Mm -hmm. Even if you wanted some feedback on it, if you don't, Either way, it's chill, man. Send it to us. We want to see it. We want to know what you're up to, what you're working on. Let us know. Let us um, know. So absolutely share your creative stuff. And David, to go out, I I would say, you know, I would just yep. sort of uh, ask you yourself. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day. Yep. You get into bed. Sure. Turn off all the lights. Chuck the phone sure. on charge. Mm-hmm. And moments... Just before you're about to go to sleep, you think to yourself, what the fuck do they do with all those boxes that they keep the ghosts in and Ghostbusters, you know? You know, what are they doing with those? Are they all in one place? That seems like a security issue. Yeah, you know, they're all, they're all in one place. It's, it's a big underground bunker. They're all yeah, in there. You know? They're all in a big... But think about it. Yeah. It seems like a risk, doesn't it? Probably not... Uh, 
I mean, do they so they just keeping them? They're not like disposing of them. In... No, they can't. Yeah, they just keep them. They it's, can't. It's a big bunk, okay, like. well, no, you can't get rid of them. Yeah. Was that is was that as like kind of pithy as you were hoping? Uh well, that's just sort of a question that I've been, you know, mulling over. It's like it's, I, it's like, it's, it's like a big, an opportunity. Yeah, it's like a big ghost proof vault, but it has like one fun that's like it's ghost it's proof, like big, so ghosts can't well, can either get in or get out. Well, no, the ghosts can get out if you open the door. Okay, it's not a, it's sorry, not a ghosts. Good yeah, ghosts don't know how to yeah. use handles or like. How does that work? No, well, because the, the, the material is ghost proof, but if you open the box, they can all get out. So, right. It's so not they, a good system. Yeah, it's not a great system if you think the about it for riffs. more than a second. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't design it. Yeah, sure. Sure. No, I'm not going to take the fall for that. No. And what about you? Any, any sort of um, important things that you've been mulling over that you want to sort of spew out into Me? the ether? Yeah. I just think that, like, if you're in a position where you're parking your vehicle and you can do it nose in without disrupting people, you should. And if you choose in that scenario to reverse park in while disrupting people, you're out of your fucking mind. That's my big philosophical. I just think it's like, I watch so many people do it. And it's like, just park and let everyone else go about the beat. Oh, uh, no, I'm going to reverse park. Why? You don't need to. It's unnecessary. It's disrupt. You're holding people up. Stop doing it. That's my big time thought. So, Thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you next week.